France, there is a rising rock star of the political right, a 26-year-old with a political pedigree that some might call extreme. But for Marion Le Pen, the issues of migrants and terrorism have combined to ignite a career and more than a little controversy. Scott Thuman has our story. Vive la République Française! Vive la France! Don't let the adoring fans, swarms of cameras, and photogenic smile fool you. You're looking at one of France's, or more accurately, Europe's most controversial figures. Merci, Madame la Présidente. And no topic has made Marion Maréchal Le Pen more talked about than immigration. There are security consequences. Radical Islam has emerged. Terrorism is one of the more radical drifts. It's just the beginning. In this situation, our parties are led to come to power, I hope. The power she spoke of when sitting down to talk to us in Paris is the rising right in France and a party called the National Front. She believes Europe should slow, if not stop, allowing a mass migration that she claims is posing a threat. Critics say that's hateful that we should be more accepting of immigrants. When people believe the way you speak is hateful, how do you respond to that? I would like to remind that France is Europe's leading exporter of ISIS soldiers that underlines a malaise. Don't bury your head in the sand. The areas with the higher immigration rates are the areas with a strong insecurity. This immigration policy has failed. In some respects, Le Pen has become the face of the movement, winning her seat in parliament at age 22 and gaining steam ever since. No stranger to this spotlight, she was literally the poster child during her famous family's political runs. Her grandfather, Jean-Marie, and Aunt Maureen, now president of the National Front, are also considered polarizing. The young Le Pen is striking a new chord, though, for her harsh stance against a growing Muslim population, abortion, and gay marriage. Her sentiments are being noticed far from France. She's drawn attention and praise from others like Sarah Palin who calls Le Pen a political crush, full of, quote, courage and common sense on a continent that needs both. Le Pen's popularity, while relatively small here in Paris, is hard to ignore in other regions, where her supporters say it's not just her tough talk, but her undeniable charisma that has their movement gaining momentum. Critics in the capital city call her rise concerning. We had spectacular results in favor of far right, which is radically anti-Islam, anti-Muslims, anti-Arabs, and anti-so-called immigrants, which is in fact a code word for Arabs. Political analyst Thomas Guinolet says her success would have been unimaginable just a few years ago. We have a climate that looks like uh, the 30s, but uh, with Arabs instead of the Jews, basically. But the rising voice of the right in as many as a dozen European countries is creating a new wave of discontent over open borders, and Le Pen is riding that wave, while blaming her elder, more experienced colleagues. The politicians are complicit or blinded by this reality because of the political correctness. They do nothing, while Salafi imams are enlisting young French people and some associations are standing as the advocates of the jihad. They don't make integration efforts. I believe the big drama is that a large part of French Muslims express sympathy towards radical Islam. And this particular Islam isn't compatible neither with democracy nor with the values of the republic. That notion of a French republic on the rise drove the National Front and Le Pen to another win, followed by a loss in the larger regional elections last December. But the new party status has created a powerful springboard for a presidential bid by her aunt next year. And who knows after that? Would you like to be president one day? <laughs> of course, but I have no career strategy. You don't think about that? I haven't decided to be minister or president. It's not my goal. I go where the people need me. Instead, she says she's just one of the little soldiers for her aunt in the 2017 election. And while their party may benefit politically from the migration crisis, several political experts tell us they feel that the National Front has peaked.
having met her, do you think that part of it is her message or a big part of it is her charisma? Well, obviously her name already carries a lot of weight, but when you do sit down with her, you see that the real testament to her political power is that she's got that so-called it factor, despite having what many see as extreme stances by today's standards. She has the ability to draw supporters in, to galvanize and enthuse them. It is an intangible that, frankly, a lot of politicians would pay for. So it'll be very interesting to see just how far that carries her moving forward. It will be. Scott, thanks so much. Still ahead on Full Measure, it's been decades since the military draft has been part of the national debate, but it's back for a new generation, this time for both men and women.